If you are looking to fine tune Falcon or Llama models through AWS SageMaker, then this new approach using Remote Decorator might help you out. In this video, I will walk you through this new solution from AWS, which you can use in AWS SageMaker to get started. You would first need to create AWS SageMaker domain and also some roles so that you could get started. And to be honest, that is a bit of a pain. But well, that is what you need to do if you want to use AWS SageMaker. Let's assume you already have AWS SageMaker domain and you are in AWS SageMaker Studio. All you need to do is to run this notebook and the link to it is in the bottom of this GitHub repo and I will drop the link in video's description. So let me walk you through it. The way this solution is working is that it is using QLora and also parameter efficient fine tuning. So the way it is fine tuning a Falcon 7B foundation model in this example using remote decorator from SageMaker Python SDK is that it is first using hugging face parameter efficient fine tuning or PEF library and then quantization technique through bits and bytes. Now for quantization, it is using QLORA or quantized LLM with low rank adapter technique, which is quite an efficient fine tuning approach that reduces memory usage of LLMs while maintaining very good performance. Okay. Now in this solution in at a very high level in summary, what happens is that you go to the AWS SageMaker service, then you go to your AWS SageMaker Studio, and then you can run a SageMaker training job by simply annotating your Python code with at remote decorator. Then SageMaker Python SDK automatically translates your existing workspace environment and any associated data processing code and data set into an SageMaker training job that runs on the training platform. Okay, now in this notebook, they have tried to keep the cost minimum, but just a warning, it is still using ml.g5.12x large instance behind the scene. So it could get quite expensive if you let it run without any check. And this is only for Falcon 7 billion parameter. If you are using any higher model, then you need to increase the instance size. Okay. Now let us let me walk you through this notebook. The first step you are doing is after cloning that GitHub repo which I just showed you, you would need to install this requirement.txt and then you would need to install all of these modules which include transformers, path I just mentioned, bits and bytes for quantization, SageMaker, etc. Once that's done, you would need to um, set some environment variable for SageMaker, install your pandas and also read the data set and they are just using the sample data set and from there you are doing your model selection and also doing test plate. Now before we train our model as I mentioned earlier we need to convert our input into token IDs which is basically understood by the tokens and the way we do it through this code. We are in this function you are just passing the model also pass, passing a trainable parameter and it is converting those text into token. Afterwards, we are creating the prompt template and as you know, every model has its own prompt requirement. So here, we are just setting the prompt for Falcon 7B. In this step, we are mentioning the model name from Hugging Face. And from here, we are simply importing the data set, passing it to the model and then training starts on that data set and you will get uh, some output similar to this. Now here, we are doing the quantization, as I mentioned, and this is for 15 bit. And as I mentioned earlier, we are using QLORA. Now in this code, they're defining the train function with all of the parameters which are required for QLORA. And then also they are setting some chunk size here. Afterwards, they are mapping it and once that's done, they are printing some of the samples which are done by the above step. And then here they are using 4-bit quantization. Also, this code is necessary because uh, from here, um, 
Falcon requires the remote uh, code execution and this is the code where you are just setting it to auto. When that's done, you just enable checkpointing for SageMaker and from there you just get QLora uh, modules. Then we are using PEFT library for efficient parameter fine tuning so that uh, our quantized model will be optimal and from there you just start your training job and then evaluate it. Now in this step we are setting some of the parameters like epoch and learning rate and eval batch which are required for LoRa and then from here we are setting it to the training function. Now if you keep scrolling down this is where it is running it and it goes on and on and on so I'll just scroll down quickly so that you can see that it is loading 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 it is still quite big enough i would say all the shards and stuff from the model and let me go to the end so you'll just scroll up okay so until here we have quantized our model we have um uh, pre-trained our base model now it's time to um download this model which is our fine tuned one we are using AWS Photo 3 library, setting the bucket, uh, loading this model into this bucket, and then you just download PEF load so that model will be optimal. This is also the step for it. And once that's done, it will run it and it will take some time. And then we are loading a sample data set for just simple question answer, passing it out. And then you are also passing an input tokenizer and then you are printing the response of the model here. So that's pretty much it. I know it was quite high level. And as I mentioned earlier, this takes a lot of steps. So primarily what this um, example notebook from AWS is doing that it is showing how you can use the remote calculator capabilities to fine tune Falcon 7B model using QLora, hugging face path with bits and bytes without applying significant changes in the training notebook and it also uses AWS SageMaker code a lot. And let me once again show you where they have used that remote decorator. So if I search this notebook, this is where they have used it. So all this remote decorator is doing, it is using your local code as a fine tuning code for your model. If you want to learn more about it, you can go to this link and I will drop it in video's description where you can read more about it, where you run your local code as a SageMaker training job. So this is it guys. I hope that you liked it. Um, if you ask me, I think fine tuning a model is already a hard job and this doesn't make it really easy, especially with all the SageMaker dependent code and steps you need to do in order to run it. And this can get quite expensive very easily. There are a lot of other tools which I already have reviewed on my channel, where it is not only far more, far more easier to fine tune the model, including Llama 2 and Falcon, but also very cost effective. I hope that AWS starts getting serious about this. And really, I think they need to overhaul this AWS SageMaker because one, it is quite, cumbersome and hassle prone to use this service and secondly um, it is really getting expensive when you use their EC2 instances for a serious fine tuning job anyway still I'm very much hopeful that with Petrock and other services which are upcoming this will get much much better I'm very keen to hear your thoughts if you disagree or agree please share it in the comments and if you like the content Please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.